See those guys? Those are scammers. And unfortunately, Barcelona's got a lot of them. Like any city that experiences this amount of tourism, the unfortunate reality is there are people who pry on unsuspecting tourists. But you won't be one of them, because after watching this video where I go over the most common scams, tourist traps, ripoffs, and how to avoid them, you'll be that much more prepared for that next trip. One of the most common scams you're gonna see while you're over here in Barcelona are the white face mimes. And they're not really mimes because they speak and they make a lot of noise. And what they're gonna try to do is pop up in the back of your pictures or help you out with that selfie when you just can't get the whole group in the same frame. Now she's gonna ask for a bunch of money after getting in a picture. I didn't ask her to get in. Fortuna, Fortuna, Fortuna. Oh, look at this, I'm getting a balloon as well. This is perfect. Great for the video. Fortuna. No, thank you. Change, change. No, no. You'll find them a lot of times right outside of the cathedral here or even over at the Plaza Catalunya. And once they get that picture or even get into your picture, they're gonna ask you for money. They're really gonna pester you and be really persistent about it. So the easiest thing to do is just say no. Don't give them any money at all. And if you do give them some money, remember they're gonna keep asking and asking for more. So just say no, don't even let them get in that picture. But if you give them that money, just say no and walk away. The next scam are the clowns with balloons, and you'll usually find them patrolling La Rambla or right over here in front of the cathedral, and you can't miss them. Big clown outfits and these big colorful wigs, they're walking around looking primarily for families with younger children, giving those children those balloons and then asking the parents for money. Now this one, if you're traveling with younger kids, is a little bit harder to avoid because those kids unwillingly and unknowingly are gonna take a big colorful balloon that they see, usually start playing around with it. Afterwards, those clowns are gonna ask the parents to give them money and then get pretty forceful. One thing that you can do if you're actually watching is make sure that your kids don't take the balloon. Just say no and keep walking. If they do take that balloon, usually you can force them to take it back after they keep asking you for money. But the easiest thing, as always, is just to walk away. One thing you definitely don't wanna do if you do wanna give these mimes or the clowns money and you don't have any on you, is let them take you over to a currency exchange or an ATM. You'll get a lot of bad exchange rates and we'll talk about that tourist trap a little bit later. And do yourself a favor, if you hear music while you're walking around in the Gothic Quarter or even over by the Sagrada Familia and you see Homer and Bart Simpson dancing, jumping to the beat, don't buy one. It might look cool on the streets of Barcelona, but it's not gonna work at home. While that last one was primarily for families with kids, don't think that childless couples traveling alone are safe. One thing you'll find if you're sitting outside at a terrace or even inside of restaurants are people coming in with bouquets of roses trying to get that guy to buy his lady a rose. They'll offer you a rose in exchange for some sort of money, and usually they're not as persistent as these last scammers that we've seen, and a simple no will get them away. Or you can do what I did one time when I was asked to buy a rose for two euros, told him I wouldn't pay for anything less than five euros. He had no idea what to do and just walked away himself. This next scam is the free bracelet. As we've already seen, there's really nothing free over here. What you're gonna wanna avoid are people coming up to you, asking you where you're from, trying to get some information, but then trying to slip this bracelet onto your wrist. It's really hard to get off and they're gonna demand money from you afterward. And they get pretty forceful. They also might try to hand you some goods or anything like this always coming up with these big smiles and really being open, it's really easy to get that bracelet on and not be able to get it off. Easiest way, don't take anything and definitely don't let that bracelet get on your wrist. These next two are very similar and easy to avoid. Don't sign anything that you don't know what it's for. The most common things that you're gonna find here in Barcelona are those monks walking around trying to get you to sign some piece of paper for some Buddhist temple that doesn't even exist in the city. The other are the mute girls that come up to you and basically just shove some papers in your face trying to get you to sign something. Now, they're not gonna say anything to you at all, just hold up this piece of paper and you can easily just say no and keep walking. One other thing, and especially along the Porta del Angel, is you will see some people trying to get you to sign some other things. Those people are legal. You'll know that because they've got some badges on, but trying to get you to sign up for some sort of NGO or anything like that. While many of these scams and tourist traps you're gonna find as you're walking around the city, some of the most common and actually the worst that you're gonna see might be at home or even on your phone. Barcelona is a very popular city with people here all throughout the year. And one thing that I always recommend is making your reservations to some of the top tourist attractions ahead of time. But make sure you're using either the official pages or trusted suppliers. One of the worst things that you're gonna find are people making fake sites or selling tickets for more than they're actually worth to get into some of these attractions. Just the other day, I found a ticket to park well for 16 euros. The entrance price, if you go to the official website, is only 10 euros. I've heard so many horror stories of people heading over to the Sagrada Familia with that ticket booked, 
and not being accepted because it wasn't one of those official tickets. I always say go directly to those official websites when you're making big bookings for Parkwell, the Sagrada Familia, or other places like that. I'll always leave links down in the description below for you to go to those official sites or third-party trusted sites to make sure that you have the right tickets you need. Remember that if you go over to Sagrada Familia and you don't have that ticket, they're gonna send you to that website anyway. And so if you don't have a ticket that day, you might not get one when you get over there. Make sure you're using those official sites and you'll be good to go. And while we're talking about internet scams, one of the things we don't often think about while we're traveling is protecting our own data. Well, it's always nice to find those free Wi-Fi spots and connect and not have to use our own mobile data. A lot of times that can be a scam in itself. And places like the airport or even the hotel that you're staying at, scammers, hackers can create fake Wi-Fi hotspots with names that are very similar to the actual name of the Wi-Fi service there and then steal all of your data once you connect. The easiest way to avoid all of this is to use your own mobile data. But if you don't have a plan that allows you to use that for free while you're over here, or you don't wanna pay that cost, one of the things you can do is jump on over to a Spanish mobile company and get one of their SIM cards to still use that mobile data while you're traveling around looking things up or even making some of those reservations. The last thing that you can also do is get a VPN. They're not just for watching Netflix and different places anymore. They really do help out because one of the things that you can do, have it on your phone and then it will protect all of your data from all those hackers, scammers, and any of the likes. One of the big questions I get when people find those CBD shops while walking around the center of Barcelona is about the legality of marijuana. And that's not one of the things that we're gonna get into in this video, but one thing that you'll find over here on La Rambla are people offering to take you over to a coffee shop or a marijuana club. And what you need to know is that is not legal. There are a lot of associations over here in Barcelona and Catalonia as a whole where people can go and pay a monthly price or a membership and they can legally be inside and smoke. One thing that is not legal is to pay extra for that. And these people over here, what they're going to do is they're going to charge you that membership and then they're going to charge you for whatever you smoke on the inside. I was walking down one of the side streets just the other day and someone offered to have me pay 20 euros for the membership and then six or eight euros for anything I smoked inside. When I asked him why I had to pay extra if I'd already paid for the membership, he got really upset and just walked away. You'll find a lot of these people right over here, like I said, on La Rambla. And one thing that if you're speaking English, they're definitely gonna catch on and offer to take you over to that coffee shop. One thing that I found that's kind of really weird is if I don't wear a hat, Nobody says anything to me. But the minute I put a hat on, look a little bit more foreign, they start to ask. Obviously, the easiest way to avoid all of this is just to say no or keep walking if you find yourself on the Rambla in this situation. Know that hundreds of these clubs are being closed down all the time for not following those rules and you don't want to be a part of it. Another scam that you need to be aware about if you're coming into Barcelona is right when you arrive. If you have a car service scheduled from T1 or T2, you're going to find your driver waiting up at the exit for you with your name on uh, some sort of plaque. If you need to get a taxi, make sure that you're going down to the taxi lines. I've heard a lot of horror stories of people paying so much money to get into the city center by getting somebody up here that's offering you a taxi. No taxi driver is ever going to offer you a ride outside of their taxi waiting up in the arrivals hall. You have to go downstairs where there are those taxi lines and there is a regulated price. So paying hundreds of euros to get into the city center shouldn't happen. Usually those taxi rides are probably around 30, 40 euros to get into the very center, depending on where you're going. But make sure you're heading down the ramp. You can see it right behind me and getting a taxi from there. Just pop downstairs and you'll see that line and you can get into a taxi pretty quickly with people helping you get into the different taxis. And if you're still worried about that price, they even have these new boards that you can put your address that you're going to into them and they'll give you an idea about how much that price actually should be. On my last trip to Portugal, my buddy needed some quick cash and he ended up running over to one of these Euronet or cash zone ATMs that they had all over the city. And it's one of the biggest tourist traps that I've seen not only here in Barcelona, but all over Europe. With people wanting to get that cash fast, it's really nice to have them all around. With all of those exchange rates and the markup fees, you can spend so much more than what you really were willing to pull out. My buddy wanted to get 200 euros and ended up paying 250 to do so. So that that doesn't happen to you on your trip, three things that you can do to make sure that you're not running over to one of these ATMs to grab out that cash and paying so much more are ask your bank before you leave if they have an agreement with a Spanish bank that you won't have to pay that ATM fee. 
Other things that you can do are also take out money beforehand. That's probably one of my biggest pieces of advice. Grab that money beforehand and convert it at home where you're gonna get a much better rate and then bring it over here. Remember that almost everybody is accepting cards these days and you're not gonna have to have cash all over the place. But if you are gonna pull out cash while you're here, make sure you go over to a Spanish bank where you'll get a much lower fee. You're gonna have to pay something, but it'll be much lower than any of these. You're probably asking yourself how I've managed to make it this far without mentioning pickpockets. And the unfortunate reality is that Barcelona has been dubbed one of the pickpocketing capitals of the world, and you'll need to keep an eye on your belongings while you're here, especially in crowded areas. Some rules of thumb are to never leave your phone out on tabletops and to carry all of your important belongings in the front pockets and not in your back. But while phones and money can be replaced, passports are something you don't want to lose. Make a copy of your passport before coming over here and never walk around the city with the real thing. But for other ways to avoid getting pickpocketed and not make some of the most common mistakes that I see all tourists make when they visit Barcelona, watch this video next and you'll be that much more prepared for your next trip.